there. My name is Daniel Nguyen. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Writer's End. Welcome to our recommended workflow series for intermediate users. Um, the purpose of this video series is uh, to help give you a detailed guide of how to utilize Writer's End to, so that you could create, develop, and build an entire SEO content strategy from A to Z. Uh, but before I get into the details step by step, let me spare just a few minutes to share with you a bit of our background infos of the team behind Writer's End, the philosophy, uh, the purpose of uh, Writer's End, and also a, a guiding principle in which that helped us uh, over the last seven years at SEO Content Agency and as well as now as the team that build product. Um, and this is the kind of principle that help us through the horrible, uh, all of those horrible infamous Google updates over the years and um, it gave us so much value that we thought it's something we really should share to our users so they can also enjoy uh, how helpful it is uh, to their own SEO uh, journey as well. Okay, so let's start with a quick intro. Uh, we actually didn't start out building SEO. We started out as SEO content agency for a good seven years. Uh, and we have members that have up to 10 years of experience doing SEO. And during that tenure, um, two things that really step out of the whole of the whole period that make us feel like we want to create writers in. And the first thing is the amazing speed and progress that Google have advanced over the past ten years as the search engines in their algorithm. I mean, in 2012, before 2012, Google returned the result to you based on string of data, not things. What does that mean? It means that if you search for keyword like Steve Jobs, Google will give you every article on earth that contains the keyword Steve Jobs. It doesn't know what the intent of your search are. Google still relied everything of their engines based on purely data. That's why backlinks was such a huge thing back in the day. But progressively, backlinks slowly doesn't, is, isn't become as high on the priority list anymore. And the reason is being Google start developing their own uh, AI and natural language processing algorithm so well that they are able to understand the meaning and context behind the search uh, of each user. They understand the intent and therefore after 2012 and slowly progress by now, if you search for the keyword like Steve Jobs, you will be able to, Google will actually return to you um, data like uh, what people that relate to him, like Steve Job, uh, uh, Tim Cook or John Ivey or the product behind Steve Jobs like MacBook or iPhone, or the company behind Steve Jobs, like Apple or Pixar. So Google are able to connect those dots and provide you with a graph of knowledge uh, so that it fit best with your search intent. And that is the speed of progress, progress uh, of the speed of advancement of Google in the past 10 years. And we truly believe that in the next three to five years, backlinks or those many different data point that you get provided with many different tools out there will become obsolete. And the only thing that remains are going to be the value of your content. And that leads to my second uh, observe, observe, observation of the 10 years. And that is every single SEO campaign we do, we saw that most campaign that could sustain their success, there's a lot of successful campaign, but those who actually could sustain their success over the course of the years and doesn't really get affected by all the updates is the campaign that focus on the quality and the value of their content that give to the end users. So as long as the content that you give to your end users are of high quality and is always give them values, you typically will always be able to maintain your rank for a long period of time. And that will remain true in the past and it will going to continue to remain true in the future. And that is, after, with that two observation, it leads us to create Writer's End as it is today. And with Writer's End, uh, when we develop Writer's End, we want to accomplish a few things. And the first thing is, we want to build Writer's End as a solution for your SEO content strategy. And that would be, provide you with the entire workflows, but not feature-based. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is, if you look at a lot of tools of doing SEO out there right now, it, it usually works almost like a buffet. Um, if you need something, 
you will look into that, right? For example, if you want to do keyword research, you'll go into a keyword research tool. If you want to do content creation, you will go to a content creating tool. Um, it's a very fragmented sort of workflows. But SEO is a very disciplined type of work, a practice, right? It requires you to do sequential steps in a very logical and disciplined way in order to achieve sustainable success. For example, you can simply just do really great keyword research campaign and expect amazing result of your SEO. And the same play with content. You can't just write an amazing piece of content and you post it up and you think that, okay, now it's the job of Google to give that to the end users. It doesn't work that way. It has, it, you have to follow a sequential step. And I'm sure by now with the, in the level that you do and the experience you have, you do realize that SEO is not a one feature type of work. It has to require a discipline of logical sequential steps that uh, you have to start from somewhere, start from research, and you have to do it all well in order to really achieve that kind of successful campaign. And we want to focus on that. And, and in, in Writer's End, we cover it by, first of all, uh, cover the topic research uh, uh, phase of your campaign. Using our topic discovery, you'll be able to look for all the topic and subtopic that give you topical authority in the seed keyword that um, you're trying to research for. And then you'll do keyword research and you were able to look for all the long tail keyword that is high converting and low competing and that give you an edge over your competition. And then you are able to group those keywords with uh, those keywords that have high ranking probability together into a list of different articles for you to tackle later on. And then we'll help you to kind of organize that keyword list, uh, article list into your own marketing funeral. Uh, top the uh, funeral, bottom the bureau, middle of the funeral. So by organizing it, you will not only turn your organic traffic, uh, you not only achieve your organic traffic, but also turning them into converting customer. And that's in return to sales. And finally, we will help you to write that piece of the, a, a piece of content with well research and well structured and when, and well put uh, give you all the NL, NLP and as well as the uh, keyword that need to be included in that in that uh, piece of writing, and and that is the entire workflows. And we want to focus on that workflows and not just the single features. Second things we want to focus on is focus on only data that matters. And if you know, if you use a lot of tools nowadays, you will see that they will provide you with, bombarded you with so many different data points. And in Writer's End, we believe that you only need those data that truly matter. Because the more data you have, the more you, you, you uh, stuck yourself in this paradox of choices. And you either in a stage of not sure how to utilize those data, or you just give up altogether and probably just look for data that you know. And so at Writer's End, we want to provide you with only data that truly matter. And finally, we value high quality research above all else. It means that we want to make sure you will get the best experience of building uh, your research period, your phase, that making sure that all the data that put in together in well-structured format so that when you go into your execution phase, you, there's no turning back. You don't even need to think twice of what you're about to execute and you will gain that confidence when, in building your SEO campaign. So um, with that, is uh, the in, uh, the intro. Let me share with you now the guiding principle in which that have helped us in building Writer's End. And the guiding principle is this. That is the supply and demand relationship in Google economy, right? So just like a standard economy, Google economy also required three main players, supplier, demand, and the platform, right? And Google here is the platform. And the platform try it will will match will try the job of Google is to match uh, the supply and its demand right and demand is represented by your users and your user will state their demand through the use of the keyword that they search and you you are the supplier and you are the supplier of the knowledge of the information and of the product or the service that your your users are looking for. And what you have to do is because in order for you to reach to your users, you have to first satisfy your platform. 
you have to know what are the requirements your platform has what are the do and the don't in this platform so that you can av avoid or try to to focus on only when you satisfy the need of google uh, you will then be able to kind of rank your content and once you rank your content that is where you try to satisfy your users you want to know their intent you want to know the keyword they search you want to know what are the things that the the, the persona of them so that you can fix your content uh, based on who they are and and so by that order first you have to satisfy google you have to understand the concept of eat expertise authoritativeness and trustworthiness and I will go in very details in the next step of what they are and how you can satisfy Google using that. And second thing is satisfy your users only after you satisfy your platform. When you understand this at the core, uh, uh, at the at the at the core meaning of this concept, you realize that your job has a beginning, and it begin with satisfying Google. It doesn't begin by satisfying users right away. A lot of people start with, oh, I need to research keyword. I need to write content right away. It, no, it's not. It start by looking for those topics and subtopics and building them in, in a way that making sure when Google bots go into your content, they know you are the expert of the topic that you look for. And that will lead us to our first uh, step of our uh, series, how to build a topic cluster that achieve topical authority in Google standard. After that, I will guide you in the second videos and second step how to do keyword research using our Keyword Explorer, how to utilize our Zen Matrix, uh, uh, Zen Matrix uh, theory and to use uh, our golden filter to look for that long tail keyword with high converting and low competing quality so that you can have an edge over your competitors. After that, it will be a videos about how you can group those keywords with high ranking probability together to save you 90% of that manual process work. And, f and after, after that, in the fourth videos, I will show you how to organize that in tofu, mofu, bofu order. And then it will be the execution phase which will guiding you how to uh, look for data from your competitor to write that piece of content that will help you rank. And finally, is to utilize our plagiarism checker to uh, before you publish your piece of content to the world and get that ranking. So hopefully this will be a very wild opening statement and I'm, I'm very excited and I can't wait to see you in our next videos.